Hello Rust players and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are taking a look at the combat log. Now I know some more advanced and experienced players know damn well how to use this one, but this is for the newer players. So for starters, let's spawn in a scientist, kill him and see how this works. So let me just spawn a scientist. And now once he's dead, you can go to his console, which is by default F1 and type in combat log. And now here you will see the whole battle. So basically this, I've killed some scientists before, so don't ignore these. Let's look at this. <clears throat> so the scientist uh, was shot in the head once. He, he had 150 HP, it left him with 80. Then he got shot and from 80 to 53. And then once again he got shot from 53 to 18. And you get the gist of it. You can see what weapon was used. You can see the target. Uh, you would also see the damage done to you in here as well. And you can also see when we, you know, the player or scientist was killed. Now, constantly after a fight, typing in combat log can get a bit annoying. So what you want to do is you want to type in this command right here. Uh, you can take a mental note of it, write it down somewhere. Basically, you bind, then the key you want to bind to it. In this case, we're using F2. And then in quotes, console toggle, and then combat log. And basically what this will do is, for example, you're fighting and then you quickly press F2. And well, for me, it's gonna say invalid player because it is my private server and I am the admin. So for me, it, you know, it doesn't understand what player I'm talking about. So I would have to save the player's username, but for you, it should work. And the combat log should appear. <clears throat> Now the practical uses it for it, for example, you're, you know, fighting a few players and you want to like tell, you know, your friends uh, how much damage a player took or whatever. So you can quickly, you know, press F2, look at the damage, say, yeah, he's low or like he's 20 HP or whatever. And then, you know, you know what to do. Like it can be very useful even in stressful situations. So I would definitely suggest, you know, getting used to using this. Alright guys, that's about it for this video. I hope it helped you out and I do hope to see you in the next one.